the coffee is black, the robot is frisky, <laughs> and I'd like to welcome you to the Monday, November 24th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just rants with a cup of joe. And this evening, I'm going to rant on a model I did earlier today that I called a Lego pneumatic lift. Uh, th this is a fantastic model. I if any of you have been following any of my videos, you realize that I've been tuned in to the latest education sets. A Lego Education 9641 31-piece pneumatics accessory kit. And in fact, this evening I did uh, the third uh, model from this kit. Uh, I might mention one thing. Uh, uh, this, uh, some of you have been asking me about this pressure gauge. This pressure gauge, by the way, is an official, look at that, an official Lego uh, compressor, uh, yeah, compressor gauge, <laughs> pressure gauge. And, it, and, and you asked me what it means. It's a, a PSI bar. There, uh, PSI stands for pounds per square inch, so that means that right now the pressure in this tank, right here in this tank, is uh, 38, 39, 38 and a half pounds per square inch. And as you turn it on, it, uh, see how it's rising, 40 pounds per square inch? And if you look carefully at the gauge, it's gauged two ways. The outer gauge is in PSI. See the PSI? And the inner gauge is in millibars. See it says bars. Anyhow, a wonderful kit. I uh, heartily recommend that you all get it. One of the the models that it builds, and it builds a a, a number of wonderful models. I built this uh, pneumatic hand the other day, and I built this compressor the other day, uh, and today I built a pneumatic lift. The pneumatic lift has two instructions, and uh, it, it it basically is designed so the kids can uh, in, in a classroom setting, each build part of the model. And, and note, see the gauge is right there. See where it says it's uh, at uh, 38 millibar or 38 psi. Now see, it went down to, to 32 psi. See, each time you go down, it uses. It uses air, and each time you go up, it uses air. Now it's at 29 psi. Now watch. It still went up at 29. Now it's at 24 psi. It went down. Now it's at 20 psi. Bet you won't go up. Barely. <laughs> okay, it's still going up. It's uh, at 18 psi. Now it goes down. Now it's at uh, 14 psi. Now it won't go up. <laughs> See, I'm trying to show you there is a limit as to what it takes to raise the platform. Uh, in fact, I mentioned this because in the kit, they uh, have you build the basic model. And you put a weight, that's a heavy weight that's in the kit, that's in the uh, accessory, uh, uh, the Lego education set. And you can either pump it up here or you can use my little motor there. But the other thing you can do is make it even bigger. So you can add uh, some more. And when you do that, you can experiment because then you can put more weight on there and, and you'll see that it takes... Uh, more air pressure to, to lift it when it's it's bigger like that. But I'm not into giving you experiments like that as much as I am just to show you uh, you know the, the basic model. If you were into uh, getting Christmas presents this year 
this would be the the season to buy Lego Education. Some of you have asked, where do you get this stuff, Bill? Well, the Lego Education is available directly from Lego Education. <laughs> you can Google it. Uh, they have a Lego Education shop at home, just like they have a Lego shop at home. I mean, it's exactly the same. You just click off. You want to and order it, and then ship it. And uh, and you can order it just like with Lego Shop at Home or Amazon. So it's real easy. All you got to do is type Lego Education on your Google, and you'll you'll eventually find it and search for the 9641. By the way, this set here is fifty five dollars. The 9641 accessory accessories kit. I would recommend to get the 8293 Power Functions Kit, which is 29. That gives you the battery box, uh, the motor, the switch, the lights, lights, camera, action, <laughs> and also the Lego Education Set, the 9632, which lets you build a whole boatload of wonderful models. And then you can marry it up with this pneumatics kit and build some really neato. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the building the other models, by the way. They're, all the models in this uh, pneumatic set are terrific. Absolutely terrific. I want to mention one other thing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Good. <laughs> he didn't plop. They have uh, two small pistons. If you look at the one on the right, that's the one that I used in this high efficiency uh, compressor. By the way, it, it, it's a good one. It goes up to over 50 PSI. The other one, they have a small one, but it has the two. See the, there's two nubs. Here's, there's one. This, this is a great set. You might want to buy two, two of the pneumatic sets just for the parts. They're cheap. Bill and Red, having absolutely too much fun s signing off with a very sleepy, sleepy, sleepy robot. And my robot snores. Sayonara, friends. Sayonara.